interviewed my good friend Sachin. And when I think about this case, what comes to mind is uh, Sachin and his cohort at the Tea Room and Margaret Mead's quote that you should never doubt a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. And those, those, that small group sat down in that tea room in 2013 and decided, we're not going to give up until we can fix this thing. And the only way to do it is to launch a case. So approximately three years ago, when Bill Whitford, whose name you now know, called me and said, I'm Bill, I'm a retired law professor, you should join this case, I'm going to send you this law review article that hasn't been published by Stephanopoulos and McGee, and I had just opened up my own firm. Um, I had started off as a, a school teacher for 10 years, and my husband said, you shouldn't put your name on this thing because you're going to alienate half of your potential customers and clients, and you have this law firm to think about. And I said, well, if they care that much about my politics, they probably already know what they are. And uh, so I said, I don't care. One of the reasons I quit being a teacher and went to law school is so that I could join causes like this to make a difference, Ooh, difference great. in policies and a difference for our democracy. When I was a member, um, actually before I finished law school, I took the, um, the, the note to heart that you should change the world if you can. And I served on the local school board. And a member of the school board, we met with our local legislators. And we met quarterly with both Democrats and Republicans. And we talked about school funding and other things that were important to us. And um, I'm sensing that perhaps Arnold Schwarzenegger is here. Right? <laughs> But anyway, my representative, my former representative, who who now has a district across the street from mine, got up and left the very last meeting that we had with our legislators and said, I can't listen to this vile political commentary. And what I was talking about is in the same national economy, prioritizing different funding and different priorities like the state of Minnesota. And she literally walked out on the elected school board officials in her district because she didn't have to listen to our concerns anymore. And that was really the symptom of this greater problem. Voters should choose their representatives. They should not choose us to keep their job sacred. They should be accountable to us. They should compromise. We should come back from the polarization in this country and work together for democracy.